Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, this one, of course, is not for the uh, Christians that just put their faith in a sinner's prayer and quote John 3.16 all day. Uh, this is for people who are seriously studying the Word of God and uh, who know there is a not just a spiritual battle going on, there has been a physical uh, part of that battle uh, going on since the Garden of Eden and the creation of man in God's image and uh, the fall of Lucifer. Now, many of these creatures that fell, as we read in the Bible, are serpents, they're dragon-like creatures, in other words, they are reptilian. Okay, so you get different classes of these uh, uh, reptiles, if you like, intelligent beings. Um, and there are various ones um, in the animal kingdom. There's Komodo dragons, there's various, of course, snakes, and so on. And uh, reports, you know, if you go a little bit deeper, there are, I've did videos about it way in the past, and that they're there on YouTube and on the internet that people have discovered dragon eggs, they've discovered dragon bones, there's ones that are underwater and there's ones that can fly. <laughs> and there's, of course, so many video games about it as well, which, um, you know, we've been looking at um, XCOM, and basically the whole genre of the alien. Um, Invasions are based basically what they really are is just the story of the fallen angels, and uh, this class of reptilians are said to be based at Alpha Draco, which there's a map there at the bottom of that. The Giza pyramids, as in the stars of Orion, we made videos about that in the past, and the whole area is meant to be based on these star patterns, telling us a story perhaps where these creatures came from. Uh, of course, there's much speculation about who built the pyramids. I don't want really to go into that at the moment, but but really, there's you know so much on that. <coughs> but um, we're talking about this fallen angelic class of beings, and uh, of course, there's New Agers and non-Christians that really delve deeply into this and say that they are our, not just our space brothers, as the Catholic Church says, they are actual creators. And uh, but really. The simple fact is that the, a lot of the pyramids we see in the, you know, South America, Peru, Mexico, the Aztecs, um, <coughs> it was said that um, psychedelic drugs were actually used, um, and people that still go to these areas and take psychedelic drugs, they're said to see <coughs> those certain beings of light, and um, and they just know that they they should offer themselves as sacrifices, and this this is basically what was going on thousands of years ago. There, I believe Mel Gibson made a f movie about it, um, about fifteen odd whatever years ago. Um, so you know he, he I forget the name of it, but I think we we know which one that was. As a kind of a pop apocalyptic um, video, but it was showing that. Um, well, it's showing that there was human sacrifice going on um, to the to the feathered serpent god, but it wasn't really telling you that they were using psychedelics for people to actually willingly do it, and that, that's the scary part, and that's what people are experiencing today. And uh, of course, we're warned, and not just God's word, but we are warned it's not a good thing to take drugs, even coffee and caffeine and all that is is, is a bad thing. Many religious people will avoid those things, even though it does give you a sort of an energy boost. Um, but spiritually, they're not good. So it's showing you here that these this class of reptilians, there's many, actually many dozens of them. And we know that, well, I've made uh, videos about the certain attacks that have been going on in the bases in the uh, United States and around the world. Many of these videos have been deleted from my channel almost instantly when I load them up. So that's why we're just going to review Predator 2, and we're just going to tie this in with, uh, you know, the whole reptilian phenomenon. So we're going to go ahead and just um, review one of the videos on YouTube that uh, speak about this. And um, you can class those as a type of, I don't know if they're fallen angels, or that that's really what they are. And the, the, the little ones, as it were, the little... Um, greys or whatever you want to call them, many of them are said to be part machine, so they're, they're obviously being created by these higher and 
sort of in more intelligent beings to carry out the abductions and such, you know, which has just been so many millions of testimonies around the world about this. And when I became a born again Christian, the Lord showed me that this was actually going on. That it's not just spiritual warfare, so they're not just demons, there are actually physical fallen angels that um, so are sort of masters of different dimensions and we know about that we can just go into so many different things like the Mandela effect I believe there's a new Hellboy movie coming out that again that's a sort of an anti-hero um, type thing which uh, you know the space gates and various technologies that the Nazis used in some of these films and they're quite, it's quite interesting the fact that the I don't know the establishment, whatever you want to call them. They, they they put a lot of these truths into into so so called science fiction movies, <laughs> and that's when you try to bring them out biblically. A lot of Christians laugh at you, but they're laughing a little bit less now because there's so much of the phenomenon now, um, worldwide that it's you just can't ignore it. So we'll check this review out. Right now, Predator Two, and this is some of the kills. That Predator had in his uh, spaceship. We know that Predator 1 was one of the most classic movies ever made, certainly science fiction movies ever made. It is a real boys' film, you know, it's not, it's not romantic whatsoever, it's nothing to do with, you know, but it's really, you know, a Predator class of beings that are able to, you know, um, appear invisibly and just, well, kill, kill for sport. The Spaceship of Wonders, Raphael Adelini and Xenomorph. After Harrigan successfully kills the Predator, other Yauchas appear to take away their deceased compatriot. In that scene, the elder Predator gives Harrigan an old pistol with the engraving Raphael Adelini 1715. As mentioned earlier, this was lifted from the original comics. In 1718, a pirate captain by the name of Raphael Adelini would plunder ships and boats, but lived by a strong code of conduct refusing to loot church property. When he comes into confrontation with his entire crew over the huge amount of gold belonging to the church that could be up for grabs, he decides to fight his own men. However, a Yaucha was overseeing the events as they unfolded, and impressed by the courage of Adelini, he chooses to fight Adelini. Before the two could battle, they both fought side by side and eliminated the crew. When it was time to fight each other, one of Adelini's men shot him in the back. In his dying moments, Adelini hands his pistol to the Predator and says, take it. The Predator, in turn, gives Adelini his extendable sword and repeats the words. Now when the Elder Predator gives Harrigan the pistol, he says, take it. Take it. It was a sign of respect to the winner. Harrigan proved his mettle against a sturdy alien and became a man deserving the Yaucha respect and honor. Apart from this symbolism, the scene also made room for a prequel set in the early 18th century. In the spaceship, we also see a xenomorph skull trophy among other skulls, and this brought the aliens and predators to the same universe. In the subsequent... Okay, so, um, yeah, that's a pretty decent review here, just one of the ones that I found. But, um... Basically, what I want to bring out there is the fact that um, it can al they also can tie into the Watchers, this class of fallen angels. They remember the Watchers that are mentioned in the Book of Enoch. So what you had there is a, a, a treasure chest of gold, which were which were basically guarded by some of those. Well, you call them Watchers or Ouchers or whatever. They're basically reptilians when you look at them. And of course, in black magic and witchcraft, um, certain people will will guard treasure in that way many places in East Africa and around the world, but especially there, um, they do human sacrifice to actually make sure that there's creatures, de demonic creatures certainly, in some cases they are demons, but in other cases there are, there are higher beings that guard entire areas, and if you're a Christian, which I've experienced, um, praying in those areas, you're literally, the Holy Spirit and God's angels come and bind um, the, these entities as, as you pray, and of course I've had that experience here in Scotland but in Scotland the church is very mixed up with regards to spiritual gifts um, they really take Paul's instructions to the church as rebukes they're not rebukes, they're instructions you know I pray in tongues more than you all when you're gathered together make sure that you try and edify each other with plain words that people understand 
He, he wasn't hating on the gift of tongues. He wasn't hating on prophecy or spiritual gifts. Paul even warns against um, Christians that actually hate spiritual gifts and uh, they, they end up in a far, far worse state than they were before because they're receiving what's like, what seems like wisdom, but it's wisdom of the world. And these creatures are sort of guardians um, of many different things in this world. But certainly they don't want the church to uh, start um, using the spiritual gifts that they actually have in Christ because a lot of these creatures would be the ones that would be in danger and that's why they fight so hard to hide the truth. Um, the truth is, of course, is in plain sight in these um, science fiction movies. Now, uh, here is some more. Of course, we mentioned the XCOM. Some of these um, so-called aliens are from XCOM. And there's many different video games that, um, just loads of them, you know, uh, that have reptilian type creatures. There's just so many. Um, I can't really name them all. Um, but the Alpha Dracos are the sort of ones that are linked to the sort of, at least the architecture building the, the pyramids for the Egyptian Empire, perhaps. Some people say they existed before even the Egyptians came along. But we know that um, all the the world leaders are basically in cohorts with uh, many of these fallen angelic creatures and this goes back thousands of years as well since the fall of man um, since man lost dominion and the serpent beguiled Adam and Eve but we have the second Adam now who are born again the born again saints who are actively take back the earth at Christ's coming oh and this really gets Satan shaking in his boots and um, that's why a lot of Christians, when they look at these type of videos, they don't know what to make of them. They've had no revelation in the spirit about them, and they end up hating on Christians that have had revelation about those things. And yes, we're fighting many physical battles today with different religions and different ideas, you know, atheists and Muslims and Hindus and so on. And these, these, these creatures, we know that, at least in witchcraft, they know that they've always existed. And as I said... Um, there's a class of them, the Book of Unit called the Watchers, and I encountered <coughs> a principality like this in Africa, if you can imagine. Uh, this is a red dragon. This is even how what we describe Satan as. But he, he of course, the size of this creature is sort of relatively unknown. Um, some, some of these creatures are principalities in certain areas of the world, so it means that there are not just one red dragon, that there's a whole family of them. You know, there's there's... there's perhaps even thousands of them, we don't really know the number of them. Um, but this was like the, basically the uh, principality that I encountered in Africa and as I explained, the unction of the Holy Spirit was able to come upon me and that God sent angels to bind this creature for about half a year, it was actually bound. And, uh, you know, that's one thing you can do to make sure that the gospel is really it really develops and really spreads in your area. If you can go into prayer and bind the principality of your area, well, you know. And, you know, th these are the type of videos that Satan are really scared of. And, um, you know, they will just find any excuse to delete videos like this. If many videos delete, made videos like this. And even watched one from a brother from, I think it was Nigeria, who had a similar experience in the Holy Spirit. And, of course, Henry Groover. I believe as, as a real apostle of, of Yeshua the Messiah, Jesus Christ, and of course uh, Ron Wyatt, whom they both uh, met on appointment of the Holy Spirit. And I believe these guys are the real um, fathers of the church uh, today. Um, men like Henry, Henry Grover and uh, Ron Wyatt. And if I believe that if anybody's theology or beliefs fall outside um, of, of, of what these men stood for and what these men believe, which are all in line with scripture, and I believe they're heretics, you know, it's just, just as simple as that, hallelujah, so I'm going to leave you with that, it's just going to be a short video um, about the Predator 2, I don't think there's much more I can show you here, I'll leave the link below to this video, you can watch the whole thing, but bear in mind when you're watching it, this really is about man's encounters with um, reptilian beings, they might call themselves uh, aliens, but they're really a lot of them are fallen angels or they are creatures that have been sort of, as it were, en engineered or ge genetically engineered by these reptilian type fallen angels. Okay, 
which they have underwater bases, they have bases inside mountains, and they have a uh, spacecraft that are able to um well traverse um space and time to to a certain extent and uh so that's what I'd just like to bring out today what I'd like to show you today and as the apostle Paul said, we battle not against the uh, flesh and blood but against principalities and powers of this dark age and so uh either get into your prayer closet or get with some Christians and start praying together and ask for the spiritual gifts ask God to pour out the Holy Spirit ask for the gift of tongues ask for all these things and oftentimes if I hear somebody that's not received these spiritual gifts from the Lord oftentimes it's because they have unforgiven sin in their lives and they've not spent enough time with the Lord not just studying his word but in prayer is a very key thing not just with your you know a lot of people they pray in their mind or they pray in the spirit which is good which is what Paul's saying but verbally we got to pray as well uh, to the Lord and I uh, find that there is power in that it's released from the, the words that we speak and that we that, that we uh, encounter the Lord Jesus Christ with because he's a living word of God hallelujah and if you want a physical copy of the word of God again I recommend the KJ3 hallelujah Thanks for watching. May the Lord bless you.